welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be doing a very quick and simple hair tutorial for you all I have recently been loving my hair in nice soft beachy waves so today I'm going to show you how I create them I washed my hair yesterday and as you can see it's just a little bit frizzy. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to create the perfect natural beachy wave look that's perfect for this summer. Okay so first of all I'm going to start with some argan oil. This is the heat defense leave-in spray. They are a bit matted and I'm just gonna run my fingers through my hair like so. So first, I'm gonna go in with the Babyliss Curling Wand and I've put it to the highest temperature, which is 200. I'm gonna start with my left side first of all. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna tie my right side away because I don't want any pieces of hair from the right side getting on the wrong side. Just gonna put that in a bubble. So I'm just gonna take quite thick pieces like that and then hold it at the top of my head and curl it away from my face. and then you'll be left with a curl like that. Now don't worry, obviously we're gonna sort it out all at the end, but I just like to pull on it a little bit. And then I'm just gonna do the exact same all the way around the head. And the thicker pieces you do, the quicker the whole process is going to be. So by curling it outwards, it's going to open your face just a lot more. Just because if you're curling it in, it's going to close off your face a little bit. And obviously you don't want that. Okay, so that is one side done. As you can see, it's quite crazy. Okay, so this is where things kind of get just a little bit complicated. With this side of the hair, again, you're gonna get thick pieces, but you're not gonna do it outwards because that will bring the curl in. You're gonna go under the hair like so and drag it around the wand. I also did the eyelash curler trick today where I heated them up and look how long they are. They're so long. Really doesn't matter if any of the pieces are flat anyway. I am just going to go through all of the curls just with my fingers to kind of smoothen them out just that little bit. So I'm also just going to take my comb and get each piece and just carefully brush through them. As you can see, I'm not going straight down. I'm kind of taking it and brushing it down. I always do this whilst I'm waiting for the straighteners to heat up because obviously they can take some time. Okay, so as you can see, this the right side is a lot less frizzy and curly than the left side. Now, it kind of just goes to show what thinner and thicker pieces of hair can be like, but don't worry if it looks something like this. I've got these fabulous straighteners. These are literally everything I use. I use them all the time when I straighten my hair, when I curl my hair, anything 
whatsoever. Now it goes up to the number 10. So I put it on the highest heat, always leave it on the highest heat. And I just go through with the straighteners and just kind of tone them down just a little bit until I get the desired look that I want because I don't, especially with um, short, thick hair, it doesn't look right having big bouncy curls. Then, all I'm gonna do, we're not gonna have the fringe down today because look at it, what is that? never really seen me with my full fringe down either on camera. this is the finished completed hair look this only took me like 20 minutes to do and it's but if you have enjoyed this video guys please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up hit the subscribe button down below as well and the notification bell so you never miss a post also comment down below let me know what you think if you think that you will be trying this this summer make sure you go follow me on twitter instagram all my social medias as they will be linked down in the description as well. I'll also leave the links for the exact products or products like it that I used in today's video. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next week. Bye.